GoDaddy's website builder will work for anyone who wants to build their website fast. If you want to tweak the details or put your own spin on the design, GoDaddy's probably going to frustrate you. In this video, I'm going to explain the upsides and downsides of using GoDaddy as your website builder. Overall, GoDaddy is a pretty solid website builder, but it's not for everybody. If you'd like to try GoDaddy, you can find a link to it in the video description below. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I may earn a commission if you click that link. So GoDaddy has some pretty big limitations that you should understand. I'm going to walk you through a few of them. First of all, you build pages in GoDaddy by adding pre-designed sections. For example, we could add this about us section, but we're not able to add additional elements to this section. For example, we couldn't add a paragraph element right here. Instead, all we can do is toggle elements off and on. You're also not able to change much about the theme of your website. Let me give you an example. Let's say I want to increase the size of this heading. Well, I'm not actually able to. There's nowhere that I can do that. The only thing I could do is increase the font size in my theme, but this increases all font sizes across the entire website. So it's not really a solution. GoDaddy's website builder is really easy to use. I would recommend it to anyone who doesn't feel uh, tech savvy. The sidebar editor is never overwhelming. It's always clear and easy to follow. And there are lots of details that GoDaddy gets right. Let me give you an example. So let's say we want to crop this image in a photo gallery. It's actually really easy. We just have to zoom in and then drag to reposition the image. And this will automatically change the crop. That's just clever. Here's another example. Adding a pop-up is really easy. You just click this and then you can edit it to look however you would like. Plus GoDaddy's iPhone app for websites is like really outstanding. It takes the entire desktop experience and makes it available on your phone. That's not easy to pull off. Um, for example, Squarespace and Wix, they don't have this. Now GoDaddy's website builder is just one tool within a suite of GoDaddy tools. None of these other tools are particularly groundbreaking, but they provide the basics. The upside is that they all integrate with one another and are included in every website plan. GoDaddy appointments lets your customers book appointments on your website. You can take payment for these appointments and sync your calendar with it. There's the GoDaddy social media marketing tool. Let me show you how it works. So the social media marketing tool lets you create a post once and publish it in multiple places. So let's create a post. So now we can see how the post will look like on Facebook, Twitter, and Google My Business. And we can also schedule this to be posted for later. There's the GoDaddy content creator, which is a simple graphic design tool for creating posters, Instagram stories, YouTube thumbnails, that kind of thing. There's GoDaddy Connections, which is like a basic CRM for customers and subscribers. And there's the GoDaddy email marketing tool, though it's the weakest of the tools. See these equal signs? They are Markdown, and you have to write emails using Markdown. It's like a language. It's not quite coding, but it can feel like coding, and it can be a little intimidating. And of course, there's also e-commerce. Unfortunately, GoDaddy doesn't get the basics of e-commerce covered. If you're serious about e-commerce, you're going to outgrow GoDaddy quickly. Here are a few of the problems. For starters, checkout isn't hosted on your domain name. So I've got an item in my shopping cart, but pay attention to what happens to the URL when I check out to pay. The domain name changes. It redirects me to a third-party domain name, mysimplestore.com. This is poor branding and, and even worse, a poor trust signal. There's also no email receipt customization. So you can't edit the emails your customers receive after placing an order. Adding taxes for your store is also painful. Creating taxes is super annoying. Uh, you have to manually add each tax. This is not something you should have to think about. Platforms such as Shopify have made this far, far easier by automatically applying standard taxes for regions. Now let's talk about themes. GoDaddy includes 22 themes. Each theme has different headers and homepages, as well as some minor variations to the look and feel. But the different themes don't really change the layout of the entire page. Overall, GoDaddy themes will work for you as long as you try not to customize them too much. 
For example, you are limited to choosing one primary color. This primary color is applied throughout your website, but you can't choose where exactly it gets applied. I chose blue as my primary color, and this worked well in most instances, but I didn't like that the blue was applied on first category and second category. Fortunately, there was nothing I could do about it. To close, let me talk about GoDaddy's pricing. First of all, GoDaddy is affordable. They don't offer any free plans, but the cheapest plan, called Basic, is cheaper than the cheapest plans of competitors, as you can see in this table. Domain names are offered at an introductory rate, so it's important to understand the first year of a .com domain name, uh, for example, will cost $11.99 and $17.99 every year after that. Ensuring that your domain name is private costs an additional $9.99 per year. Finally, I bought and canceled GoDaddy with my own credit card. And I'm happy to report cancellation was easy. I was able to cancel from my browser. So no annoying phone numbers to call in order to cancel. Uh, thank God. In conclusion, GoDaddy is on the right path. As a website builder, it's not as sophisticated as Wix or Squarespace. But they're carving out their own niche as a simple, easy to use bundle. There are a few problems and limitations, like checkout being hosted on a third party URL or the limited customization of pages. I'd like to see these things improved. But overall, GoDaddy has gotten substantially better um, from my last review, and I'm excited to see where they are in another year. If you'd like to try GoDaddy, you can find a link to it in the video description below. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I may earn a commission if you click that link. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.